All right, so we've made it to the living room here in the Magica Bungalow. We're gonna clean the living room, and what we're gonna do here is implement the Sparkling Clean program. And the first part here is to clean the glass surfaces, both inside and out. We're gonna spot check uh, these windows right here, the TV as well, any glass surfaces, things like that, we are going to get clean. And then we're gonna go over to the couch. I'll switch the camera angle, and we'll get that all set up. So uh, again, paper towels are necessary for this job. And uh, what people like to see when they are traveling, renting vacation rentals is clean glass. It's a symbol that the rest of the house is very clean. And so these French doors are kind of a central entrance. We want to make sure we get them nice and good. And the other thing I'll mention is I'm not just looking at the glass, I'm looking at this white paint around the door. Sometimes people have dirty hands, things like that. And uh, they leave spaghetti sauce on the door. Uh, sometimes dogs, they get a wet nose and uh, they bump up the door. And they get a lot of stuff on it. So now I'm getting the outside of the door. I'm actually standing inside the house, but I'm getting the outside of the door right now. Typically, I'll get this outside. Like I'm going to do with the other door here. All right, so I'm gonna reload up the paper towels here. And like I said, I'm spot checking the glass over there. Kind of checking the blinds as well. Things look good. So I'm gonna grab the TV here. All right. And these windows right here are a little more difficult to see anyway. I'm just spritzing them really quick, making sure there's no bug marks, things like that. And the other surfaces that we are going to be cleaning in here are furniture surfaces, like the one right here, uh, switches, handles, touch points like that. And then if the floor did have a really big heavy debris, something of that nature, We'd sweep it up into a pile now, but we will take care of the floors on the final mop out. Uh, we'll show you that in a separate video. So I'm going to continue on here. And a couple choices, EPA approved disinfectant works well. Hitting that light, uh, yeah, light switch right there. Door handles. Again, those common touch points around the door handles. I'm spraying the paper towel, just knocking down any debris, hairs. You'll notice as well, we do have laminated cards, infographics, things like this in the homes. It's a good idea to wipe those down too. All right, so we've got this zone right here, right? These are some more of these laminated things. There's a loose wall magazine here. I'm going to set this to the side for right now. Remotes. You can see here there's a couple remotes. So I'm going to take my cleaner, wipe off the remote. I usually place them right under the TV. That's where they are. Okay, there's our glass cleaner right on the caddy. These are uh, dirty paper towels in the trash. And boom, just getting this last surface right here. And you know, any other different touch points, stuff like that. So, great. So now I'm going to do the couch. I'm going to get you set up over there. We'll finish up the living room. All right, so we're finishing up the living room here in the sparkling clean process. And one thing I did want to bring to mind is when we're in these common areas, sometimes there's cobwebs, dust. I uh, saw so a good example here, the fan. Uh, we do have Swiffers available. 
you know, this would be something that's good to do at this point to knock this stuff down to the ground. Uh, sometimes photos, things like that also have that. So uh, anyway, that's just a, a little pointer there. Keep things extra clean. So we want to make sure we've gotten all the surfaces now here. We've gotten the glass, we've gotten the furniture. And we're going to get into this couch. And now one place where guests spend a lot of time is on the couch. Sometimes we allow pets. Uh, in this video, we're, this is not a pet video, this is a human video. And there can still be a lot of hairs on the couch. So our secret defense against that, when you watch the bedroom video, uh, when you watch the beginning video, we introduced this hair roller. This really does a tremendous job at getting hair up, uh, human and pet alike. So what I like to do when I'm cleaning a couch, before I even vacuum it, because that's part of the process, is I roll it first. This takes care of the majority of the hairs. Sometimes I roll it once, twice, uh, and you kind of just go as needed. So right now I'm getting the, the bottom down there. covered it up. I don't know why I did that. But that's a lot of hair. I don't know if you can see it there. Now I'm going to do a, a fresh roll. So this roll right now is fresh. And I'm hitting the seat bottom surfaces. A lot of times things will get caught in the crack. And now I want to hit the seat backs. The other thing that we are looking for right now is stains on the couch. Just like linens, if we find a stain, we're going to use a Resolve silicone brush to uh, treat that. So this is what that clean pet hair roller looks like now. It has a lot of hair on it. And so that's what, we're, that's what our goal is. We want to get that out of here. So we're back to a fresh one. This will be the last one I do here. Let's get this last side. One last roll. And the reason I like to do this is because this makes the vacuuming a lot easier. Now if there was a pet, again, that's a different process we will show that particular clean, it's a much more intensive clean. We compensate our cleaners more for that. So that's it on the pet roller. Again, if I did see some sort of a stain on the couch. Yeah, let's say there's one right here. I'm gonna use the shout, the resolve, whatever it is. Silicone brush, nice and easy. Yeah, and work out a stain that may be in there. All right, we did this. So the last thing we're gonna do is pull out the trusty shark. I'm going to get a, an attachment on here. It's a couple different attachments that we have. This is a brush. And this one is a, a little kind of handheld spinner.
right, so now we feel good about the couch. We've gotten all the glass, all the surfaces, and we are ready to move on to the final vacuum out and the final mop out as well. 